how to use a landing page to promote on Google Ads. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can promote a landing page. Yes, that's correct. A landing page on Google Ads. Now, if you didn't know this, you can actually go ahead and promote your landing pages on Google Ads. But the key thing is that they're not a bridge app. But the key thing is that those pages are not a bridge page, right? So the difference between a landing page and a bridge page is as you can guess it, a bridge page allows you to move your audience from one website to another website, whereas a landing page should be on the same domain name on the same website, just a different page, right? So make sure you know the difference and then you can move on. So if you're trying to promote, let's say this product right here, let's say XIP here, right? Then you're going to want to promote it on your own domain and on the same website. You can't take your audience from your landing pages from your website to this website because that would make your website a bridge page and that is not allowed so that is the key difference so now that you know a little bit about this now let's go ahead and create a landing page and then let's go ahead and promote it right there have been case studies in the past that have actually proven that you can actually use a landing page too on google ads to promote your product so it's actually pretty good cool. Now you can use many different websites such as a WordPress website or Unbounce or even a Wix or maybe even ClickFunnels to create your own funnel or landing page and then you can promote it, right? For this video, we are going to be using a WordPress website. This is a demi website that I have. It's free and I used Pantheon to get it. So if you want to go ahead and try it, you should. But I would recommend buying your own domain name and connecting it to your website. That way it's legit, right? Because free domains are not pleasant looking or easy to remember or pronounce. So we're going to be using WordPress website to create our own landing page. So to do that, what we'll do is let's say we come over here onto template right we have save themes theme builder landing pages let's go ahead and click on landing page and we'll just simply click on add a new landing page create our first landing pages and of course we are going to be using elementor if you want to have more options then of course you're going to have to buy a pro version of it you can use the simple version as well but i'm pretty sure we don't need to know a lot of elements or stuff we can just simply use it i'll just put that over there so we can go ahead and create a similar looking website to this one. So as you can see, uh, if we want to go ahead and create a landing page, we don't need to have a navigation bar or stuff like that. So as you can see, they have th this header, but it doesn't contain a lot of information. It just ingredients about an order now page. But if you want, you can remove that as well. It's really not necessary. But as you can see, there is a little bit different because they have the order now button right there. Then it's just a website full of information. So as you can see right here, and then you have your, of course, reviews down here, your discounts, offers and money back guarantees and all of that at the bottom. So let's go ahead and create a similar looking landing page. So for that, as you can see right here, first we'll have to create a product image, right? Let's say we have already have a product that we want to promote. And then we want to add this type of header section or hero section as well. So let's go ahead and add that the tropical secret to weight loss. So let's go ahead and click on add a section right here. And for this one, we want to add a so like this, we added these three buttons like the website, right? We have an order now button about an ingredients or FAQ. And now we'll add a logo. So now we have added this image right here. Now we'll just simply click on choose image. We'll click on upload files, select the file to upload like so. Here we go. And now we just simply select the image. Now we have it over here, but it's quite big. We want to go ahead and make it smaller or we just leave it at that. I think that looks good. We can also increase padding and stuff, but I think for now this looks good. Yeah, we could make it a smaller, a little bit smaller. Maybe we can go with a smaller height, 100 by 100. Yeah, something like that looks nice, much better. Now let's go ahead and add these buttons as well. To do that, all we have to do is we've already added the buttons, right? Uh, if you're wondering how we did that, we just simply added the sections, right? Then we had the intersection right here. We click on this plus icon and we added intersections if we want to add them or if you want to add buttons or stuff like that, you can go ahead and directly add them. It's really easy. Now let's go ahead and add more options over here. 
Okay, so now this looks much better. I changed the logo. I changed the color. Now this looks much better. Now let's go ahead and add a hero section as well. All right, so I've added the product. Now let's go ahead and change the background color. I already copied the code. It's this one. There we go. It looks much better, as you can see. Yeah, it is actually a little bit different, but it works. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. Next, what you can do is basically go ahead and copy this element and these elements, right? And you're basically just copying a website, all right? You're basically creating your own, you know, landing page. Now, the key thing is once it's done, you need to go ahead and create a landing page, right? Next, what you could do over here is you can add a button, all right? You don't need to copy all of these different elements, all right? You don't actually need that. That's just for that website. What you need to do now is you need to go ahead and maybe create an email address right here, add a form and create a button that says add email. That way people are going to go ahead and click that button and send their emails. And then what you need to do is once they've sent that email, they click on send, you need to go ahead and redirect them to a thank you page. So the next step is to go ahead and create a thank you page, right? Let's say for now this is done, right? Let's go ahead and click on save this website, all right? I believe it's already saved. There we go. We click on save as a template or save as draft, or we can even publish it if you want to, but for now we'll save it as a draft. We'll also publish it. Now, what the heck? Now that that's done, we can go ahead and exit from the builder and we can go ahead and create a thank you page. And once we've created that page, we just simply link them together by that button. And once that's done, we can copy the link of the main website that we have created that is exactly like this one. And then we can go ahead and promote it on Google ads. It's just that simple. You create a website, create a thank you page, you link them together, and then you go ahead and find yourself a product from either ClickFunnels or ClickBank or anything else. Xipure, this, if you guys didn't know, this is actually a ClickBank product and it's done really, really well. And the person who actually created this website had generated, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong, the last time I checked, it was more than $7,000 in profit for a month. So it actually works. So you don't have to worry about that. So again, create a landing page similar to this one, a thank you page, link them together and promote that website on Google ads. And you will also generate a few thousand dollars a month. So very simple. This is how you do it. This is how you create a landing page. Of course, this is not the complete tutorial. I mean, if I were to go ahead and create the entire website, it would take way, way longer. So I just skipped over a few details, but I'm pretty sure you get what I'm saying. You understand how to do it. So having said that, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.